this is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I'm here today to do another small shop showcase. Um, this is where I go over all of the accessories and diamond painting related bits and bobs that I have purchased um, during, well I'll, I'll call this one for April. Um, I've been on a bit of an accessories spending spree recently. Um, I'm definitely not planning on having one of these out every month because I need to stop buying so many accessories. But I do have quite a few bits for this month and then a few more on the way that I'll probably do as a May one. But we'll cross that bridge when I get to it. <laughs> so I've got a selection of things today. I've got pens, I've got lots of putties and I've got some bits and bobs um, that have been very exciting for me to get hold of this uh, month. So... Yeah, I've said before, when I go in for something, I go all in. And that's what diamond painting has been for me. Like as soon as I started diamond painting, I realized this was the hobby for me. I was gonna spend a lot of time on it. And I went all in on diamond painting. And then this is what happens with accessories as well. And it, you know, it's not just accessories. Generally it's, oh, I'm really into getting new pens at the moment or trying new putties, yeah. <laughs> I'm an all-in kind of a person. Um, and as I've mentioned in a few videos recently, I've started using a parcel forwarding service called Stackery. And I use that to purchase things within the US and then ship them over to myself here in the UK at a much lower cost. So that's just enabled me to try lots of things that I wanted to get. Um, and it's kind of made sense to buy them a lot of them close together so that I can combine them into a package. Anyway, that's my justification. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so first of all, um, I'm going to show you the putties that I have tried and putty related things. I really went all in on the putties. It's a bit ridiculous if I'm honest. <laughs> um, there were all these small shops in the US, like Etsy shops that I really wanted to try. But if I ordered from them individually, the putty would cost like 15 pounds delivery and I just couldn't do that so doing it this way meant that I could um, use internal US shipping and then just like a few pounds each to get them over here really but the ridiculous thing <laughs> is that I started ordering these so long ago um, that since I bought all these and got these here I've started making my own um, more on that to come I have launched an Etsy shop and I will share details about it in due course. Um, but yeah, I, I am on there. It's, <laughs> it's a bit new and exciting and I'm a bit nervous about it. But yes, I have started making my own putty and I've been enjoying using my own putty. So the reality is that some of these, if not most of these, are going to get de-stashed. Um, but I still want to show them because I bought them because I was really excited to try them. And I still want to showcase other small shops. You know, I like I like supporting small shops. So anyway, that's enough rambling on. Let's let's see what I've got. So the first one that I tried is Merry Mud. And these were, I think, the only two cents that she had in at the time I was ordering. They're maybe not the ones I would have chosen if I had a larger range, but you know, I've just thought I'd try them. Oh, they're in different size packs, I've just noticed. <laughs> Um, anyway, so Merry Mud is a, um, well, the creator behind Merry Mud has a YouTube channel. Um, I follow her on there and on Instagram and I really wanted to try these because I'd heard great things about them. So her putties have a really strong scent and a nice colour and this is what I like in putties. I like them to look pretty um, and I like a good a good whack of scent myself. I will say these scents are probably the strongest that I've come across amongst the ones that I've bought. So if you are sensitive to scents, it's maybe not gonna be the best shop for you. I mean, I can only talk from the experience of the ones that I've bought, but I have heard the same thing from other people as well. So if it's a scent that you like, um, and you're not overly sensitive to the fragrance, you're gonna get a good old whack of it. There's the grape soda one, nice purple color. That one smells lovely. I, I don't know, I think these must be um, American drinks that I'm not familiar with, because it reminds me of something else, but I can't think what it is. And this one really does smell of um, like a very sweet orange-based drink. So that was those ones. 
And then I wanted to try Excuse Me Designs. So this one, they had lots of very sort of sweet um, themed putties when I was buying. And I liked the sound of this one. So we've got um, a link tree link on the bottom of the pot there. Excuse Me Designs, they are on Etsy. This It says 2.0 because I think that they have had a previous version and this is their newest version. So this is the scent Fizzy Pop. And it's, do you know what? It's actually quite similar in scent to the grape soda one I just sniffed. Now I'm, I'm trying them one after the other. It is very sweet smelling. Um, I haven't tried it as you can see, but it feels quite tacky. It feels like quite a sticky putty because you will find if you use putties, you'll, you'll find that you have a preference for what you prefer. A preference for what you prefer. <laughs> you don't say cat. <laughs> Um, yeah, you'll find that certain ones work better for you because it's going to depend on the environment you're in, like temperatures, it's going to depend, are you a light or heavy presser? It's going to depend on just how you like working. Um, and some of them are going to be a lot stickier and some of them will be a bit drier and may in some cases not last quite as long in your putty, but they will work in, in your place, but they will work differently while they're in there. This one, just based on doing that, I would say is going to be one of the stickier ones out there. So bear that in mind if this is one you would like to try. The next one, and this one smells so gorgeous. Hang on, where's my little thingamajig I had? Some of them I fought to keep things like business cards that came with them, others I did not. <laughs> So this is Butterfly Effect Wears, and I have to say, this is one of my personal favourites um, based on the scent and the appearance and the feel of it. I haven't started using it yet, um, but I do really like the way that they do things. Um, so Butterfly Effect Wears are an Etsy shop, again, here you are, it's run by John and Abby Lewis, and here are all their socials. Every week, or at least most weeks, I'm, I'm sure they have the odd week off, they do a pen drop of a new colourway pen and I think they mostly make their own blanks and they turn them all and they do a corresponding putty colour to go with it and then they also do some random putties as well. I think this was probably a random one but it just happened to be in stock when I was checking their site and I thought yeah that sounds nice. So they're a really cool shop to follow if you like that kind of thing. I have actually purchased a pen from them and they're the most recent drop. I'm really excited to get it, but it's going to be a while yet um, because that one is not quite delivered to my stack readdress and then I need to get it over here. But yes, so this one is banana candy, dot dot putty they call it. And it smells gorgeous. I really like this one. I wish you could smell it. It's like... It makes me think of banana flavoured sweets. Oh, it's that artificial banana smell, you know, that's sort of very distinct from actual banana, but I've always really enjoyed. It takes me back to being a kid <laughs> and having a moxicillin. <laughs> UK people might know what I mean. In the UK, at least when I was growing up, if you got prescribed antibiotics, it was often this banana flavoured liquid. Um, yeah, and I used to really enjoy it if I was ever ill because yeah, it smells like that, which sounds like a bad thing, but actually in my book is a good thing. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one. It feels reasonably sticky. So yeah, we'll see how that one goes. It's gorgeous. And I've got one more actual putty and then something a bit similar. So this one is from Diamond Art Supply on Etsy. Um, let's see, what have we got? Okay, so no links as such, but it, yeah, if you look up the shop Diamond Art Supply on Etsy, um, you will no doubt find them. This one looks really cool. It came in this little bag. Um, it did take a little while to dispatch. Um, the seller had run out of envelopes, so it got past the date I was supposed to have it and I emailed, I messaged on Etsy for an update and she got back to me very quickly to say she'd run out of envelopes and that's why I hadn't had it. Um, so yeah, I don't know what her typical dispatch time is like, but how cute are these? Let me bring them up to make sure the camera focuses and does them justice. 
is so sweet. So I have got strawberry shortcake. And as you can see, it's like a little coil of putty and then a cute little thing on top. So it feels not overly sticky. It feels like the kind of texture I do enjoy. The problem with this one is going to be that I can't imagine actually, you know, spoiling how pretty it looks by using it. And then this one is Blueberry Cobbler. And again, mmm, smells lovely. And it does, I don't so much get blueberry as the cobbler side of it. You know, it smells like a dessert, like a fruity dessert. But yeah, I'd say that's pretty aptly named. So yeah, really, really pretty. And then there is one last putty adjacent purchase. <laughs> this is something that I saw when I was watching one of Diamond and Washi's YouTube videos. Um, and she tried these. These are Oh Snap Dots from Oh Snap Crafters Cafe. Um, they are often out of stock on their Etsy store, I've noticed, but then they do go in and out. So like check back and I've never had to wait too long before seeing them back in stock again. So basically, I've been wanting to try glue dots because, you know, I just like trying all the things. But I hadn't got around to it. And then when I saw these on Diamond and Washi's video um, and they're scented, I just, I love scented products. So that kind of got me over the hump and made me go for it. Um, so you get a good amount in here and they do smell quite subtle but very nice. This was Berry Crunch and yeah, it smells kind of fruity. They're different sizes. I'm not sure how they make them and how that works. The one that I started with is probably quite similar to this. Um, so they come with instructions and it's definitely something that because it's a new product to a lot of people, unless you're already very familiar with, with glue dots, um, it's going to take some getting used to. I found that the one I started with was a little big. So I've heard people talk about normal glue dots and micro glue dots. And I'm guessing that these are closer to normal glue dots because with micro glue dots, I've heard people talking about needing like maybe two or three to fill their um, single placer. With this one, I found that the one that I loaded into my single place, so according to the instructions here, was a bit too big and it kept poking out and I kept trying to kind of squish it down and it pop out again and I'd like snip bits off it and, and it just still felt a bit big. So I, just learning curve, I think. Um, I need to practice some more, maybe try one of the smaller ones that might have a bit less overspill. But yeah. Worth trying out if you like scented products and, and you would like to give them a go, or if you already like glue dots. Um, yeah, it's a really nice, unique product. Anyway, I haven't seen anyone else doing this. Okay. So that is the end of my putty collection, finally. <laughs> Um, and moving on, this was something that I saw when I was browsing Etsy and I just thought it looked so nice. So, there's an Etsy shop in the UK called Print Shop Gifts UK and they had these tins and it's just a metal storage tin with a lid um, and you could have it printed with all sorts of things. It didn't have to have your name, it didn't have to be diamond painting related, and there were other example pictures but the one that drew me in was this because I thought yeah that's exactly what I wanted for storage for for diamond painting bits and bobs it cost eight pounds something I believe so not too bad at all and it said when I bought it that it was the last one in stock but then when I checked back again recently there was another one in stock saying last one in stock so we don't know if maybe they just only stock a very small number at time so they don't get overwhelmed I, I, I don't know I'm not sure how they're managing their stock but anyway if you're interested, check back and you may well still be able to pick one up. So prompt dispatch, prompt arrival, and yeah, it looks really nice. It's printed very nicely. This is like printed on, it's not something stuck on. This is all part of the white piece, the white top. 
and I've been using it for my washi tape collection. But really, you could use it for anything. It's just a nice metal tin. It's not the deepest. Let's see, so that pack of putty comes up to about there. Um, but it's it's a really nice little storage pot, and I like it a lot. Nice just to keep things organised. I've got all sorts of tubs and pots around. I really need to look at something better that keeps things all together. But in the meantime, this is doing the trick nicely. Okay, three more things to show you, and I'm trying to save the best for last because I'm really excited about these other things I've got. So. Recently, I came across the Etsy shop Agnes Little Minders, and she is a cover minder specialist, and she makes the most perfect, just gorgeous, skilled cover minders. Uh, they're made out of polymer clay, but like they are so professional looking. I really wanted one. <laughs> so I joined up to her mailing list and that told me when there was a drop coming. And I joined her Facebook group and again, that told me when there was a drop coming, told me what was going on because these are popular. I'll pop the link in the description box below. Obviously I'll do that for all of the shops that I've bought from today. Um, Yeah, it's not one where you can just go on and browse. <laughs> like they're gonna sell out really quickly when she next does a drop. And I don't know how often she does them. Um, there's only been one since I joined up, which was luckily for me fairly soon after I joined up. Um, I, I mean, joined the Facebook group. But yeah, she saw quite a lot in that drop, but they went so quickly. So actually, I'm gonna draw it out. So I'll show you first of all, she sent me a nice little thank you note. And here is her instructions. So we've got Agnes Little Minders, all her social links. She's based in Wales as well, uh, which is obviously nice for me because I'm a Welsh girl. Um, so yeah, cover minders, needle minders. And what have we got here? Oh, lots of stuff. And then care instructions. Yeah, I can tell that it is relatively delicate. I need to make sure that I don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm careful with it because I would be gutted if I broke it. Okay. So I'm going to show you now. I'm drawing it out because I'm so, so in love with this minder. And I will say they are not cheap. I knew that they weren't cheap and I didn't know the exact prices till I went into the drop. And it was a little more than I was expecting, but I think that's just on me being unrealistic. Because when you see the detail that goes into this, the time that must go into making them. Okay, here we are. Here is my little chameleon. How beautiful is that? And I was lucky enough to get the first one that I wanted. Um, I was on her Etsy shop on my laptop, refreshing, refreshing, refreshing at drop time. And you just had to go in there really quick, be all set up to purchase. Like there's no time to faff around putting in details. They sell quick. But yes, I'm, I don't know if I can even do it justice, but it is so lovely. And there were lots, so there were different colorways. There would be several different ones in each one. And there were some dragons and there were chameleons and there were, um, other things like flowers and stuff but each one was unique and not just because they're handmade so they're obviously going to come out slightly different but like she had styled them slightly differently and this was the one that I decided I wanted to try and get and he is just adorable I've been using it I think ever since I got it the moment all my other cover minders are redundant and I love my cover minders I love mixing and matching them to the canvas I'm working on but this one's just too pretty to be put away so there it is so yeah if you are interested in picking up one of these very very unique creations um, join her Facebook group sign up to her mailing list and yeah watch out for the next drop and then be very very quick at drop time right two more things to show you and the last two things are both pens. So, 
The first one is a pen that I bought in the US using Stackery. I think I mentioned this in a recent video just as an example of how much money that saved me because this cost me about half the price buying through Stackery as it would have done if I'd bought it and shipped it to the UK. So here we have this beauty from Lason Lafe Works or Lassen Lave Works. I'm really not sure how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. But this has fast become, now it's more affordable, one of my absolute favourite pen shops. I'm not even too sure if he does customs, he may well do, but his shop is just stocked with lots of unique individual ready to ship pens. And I, well, I've bought another one <laughs> that's coming and that'll be on my next stash. And there's another one I'm eyeing up and I'm all those hoping someone else buys it to save me from myself, except I'll be sad when it's gone. <laughs> but it is beautiful. It's a hybrid of wood and resin. Um, and he does have um, wood pens as well as resin pens as well as hybrids. So there's a good range on there. But I really liked the look of this one. And I was a bit worried it would be too thick for me because I, I quite like a, a fairly thin pen, but I find it goes in enough that it's fine. And then the bigger bumpy bits don't, don't matter so much. It's very light which is very enjoyable because it's not the smallest pen I have in terms of length. It's, it's a standard pen and as I say, I often go for smaller ones, but it's very, very light and it's so smooth and shiny. There's just, there's not a divot anywhere apart from where there should be. <laughs> so it's been really, really well polished. And I do appreciate that when pen turners take their time over that last step of really, really polishing it up. It's so gorgeous. So yeah, check them out on Etsy. Because for me, I mean, buying pens is definitely part of the addiction, part of the collection, and I do have more than I need. But equally, I do find having a selection of pens really useful for diamond painting comfortably, because this has a certain feel to it in my hand. And if my hand gets a bit tired, I switch up to a pen that has a different feel to it. And it just, it helps to avoid strain in my hand. So it, it's not just something that's pretty and gives me joy when I'm done painting, it is also helpful. So yeah, check them out. And my last pen is from C'est Plus Beaux Atours. I have had several from them in the past um, and I was lucky enough to win another of their Facebook drops. So if you don't know how they work, they are on Etsy and they have a website, but what you need to do if you wanna buy a pen from them is join their Facebook group um, I think it's just say poopos at all like that. In fact, does it say? No. I, it must be because it, it says Facebook there without any, you know, different link. Um, and most weekdays, not all, they post a selection of pens and they all have a number next to them. And basically you put your, in the comments below, you comment the number of the pen that you would be interested in. And then there's a random name drawn for each pen out of the people who have entered for that pen and that person has the right to buy. So that's, hopefully that garbled explanation made sense, but basically I won the right to buy this pen. I stalk it every day because a lot of his pens are a lot chunkier than I like, but whenever there's a thin one, I tend to enter it. And here we have my latest. And I think this is probably one of my favorites I've ever had from them. And I have had several, but it is gorgeous. It's nice and thin, according to my taste. Like, that's not chunky at all. That ends slightly chunkier, but not problematically so at all. And I just love the colours, the rainbow effect. He often does rainbow style pens, but they are all unique. Like you probably never see another one exactly like this on there because he does them, he turns them in different shapes and styles. He turns them in different thicknesses. It's different resin combinations, different things in there. They're just, they're, they're always different. Um, he does take custom pen orders. So I wonder if you could ask him to create one like when you've seen, hmm, good question. Anyway, this one is just right up my alley. I love, 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 love rainbow colors. It's the right size for me. It's gorgeous. It's so light and comfortable in my hand. I've been using it a lot. And I'm very, very happy with it. So there you go. That is my small shop showcase for this month. Um, 
yeah <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed looking over these with me you know, bring them back in so you can look while I'm <laughs> closing off um, it's been really fun showing these to you today I hope that you enjoy looking at all these pretty accessories as much as I do I just they're so addictive to me it's terrible like I should be fighting addiction not embracing it but here I am <laughs> um, so yeah let me know if there's any other places that you would recommend that I try um, particularly if they're UK based because obviously that saves me a bit of money I think I'm probably largely all puttied out for the moment because as I say I've been making my own and, and really enjoying it so I don't have as much need for buying putties at the moment but if there's other things that you would recommend let me know I'd be very happy to try them so yeah Thank you for watching today. I hope that you've enjoyed this and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.